Hi, I'm Les Graham. I'm a dog behaviourist and gun dog trainer, and I'm also the author of the Pet Gun Dog series of books. I started feeding my dogs raw food a little while ago, and April this year, 2014, I moved them across to Natural Instinct, and I'm really glad that I did. I'm quite a lazy feeder. I'm not really interested in working out the ins and outs of what they need to eat and when, and I find Natural Instinct really easy because I just take it out of the carton and put it in the dog's bowl. My dogs are doing so well on it. They're looking amazing. I've got quite a picky eater for a Labrador. He's four and a half now, and he doesn't always want to eat his food when I put it down for him. But since I've moved him across that Natural Instinct, he actually really enjoys his food. It's really important when you have a working gun dog or any kind of working dog, really. But for a working gun dog, you need to keep them in tip-top condition all year round, not just in the shooting season, so that you can prevent any injuries on the field. A working gun dog really does earn its living. Throughout the shooting season, it can work six, maybe seven hours a day in all different environments, whether that's on, on a flat field or through woodland. Um, they can be on the moors or they can be swimming, either retrieving from the river or on the opposite side of the river bank. So it's so important that they have good nutrition and they're in excellent condition going into the shooting season. When you have a working dog, whether that's a working gun dog or not, it's really important that while they're working, we keep an eye on their condition. So for example, with a working gun dog, they can be on the field in horrendous weather conditions. It can be heavy rain, we pick up in the snow as well. And also at the beginning of the season, they're working in quite high temperatures if they're out on partridge days. And so we have to keep an eye on the dog's condition at all times and make sure that they're carrying sufficient muscle and also that they're carrying sufficient fat to get them through a good day's work. I've worked with lots of different types of gun dogs and I have to work with gun dogs that will sit down and eat game um, when they've retrieved it. That's nothing to do with their diet. And so you can quite happily feed a dog a raw diet and then send it out for game or um, you know a bird or a rabbit and it's absolutely fine for them to come back. They will deliver and whether it's a bone and you ask your dog to bring a bone back after it's eaten its bone or whether it's bringing back a bird or something else that you've shot, then it's down to training. It's not down to your dog's eating raw food so therefore everything it sees it looks at is food. It's not that way. It really is down to training. Mm -hmm.